Greetings friends! It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I've got another watercolor. And this one um, is a pink jubilee rose. Well, three of them actually. And here's my photo reference I got from Pixabay. And I'm going to put it up in the corner so that you can see the reference while I'm, while I'm painting. This is my first uh, under layer coat uh, of, of color that, that I put on and I like to do one petal at a time and so uh, so I'll jump around so that no two petals are touching each other and can bleed into each other that's the one thing about watercolor where any two uh, parts touching the water will bleed into the next part until it's dry at least. So I'm going to jump around and while I'm doing that I'm going to uh, to talk a little bit. I've just been sitting here um, doing creative things, finished the alphabet book and now I'm sort of fighting with how to how to enable global distribution. It's one of those things you're always fighting with something. The program isn't allowing it yet, but I'll get there. I published it on Lulu, which is one of many self-publishing sites that you can choose from. You can see over on the right hand corner, I, I have my iPad, which has the uh, photo reference for me to look at while I'm painting. It's always nice to have it right next to you. And I can zoom in that way on different parts. I really love roses. I think that there's a challenge involved because there are so many petals and each one must be addressed individually. Each one has a highlight and a shadow and a middle ground and a cast shadow and a reflection. Also, I like to keep a little piece of paper to take uh, well, this one is tracing paper, but tissue paper will work, and any paper, so that you can lean your hand on the watercolor paper. It is so absorbent, it will absorb the oils from your hands if you're not careful. And then the watercolor, well, water and oil, water won't stick to it as well. In the shadows I'm using ultramarine blue and uh, phthalo violet and a purple lake which is uh, it's an artificial color that that has a real bright burgundy um, tone to it plus cadmium red and cadmium orange, lemon yellow, permanent rose for the pink, there's actually quite a few colors in here. I've even got a little of the um, diazonine violet in here as well. I 
have a number of these watercolor paintings that I have turned into some uh, stickers for myself. And sometimes I'll print them for gifts as well. I'm a flowery kind of a person. I love flowers. So recently I was reading and I found some stories that my dad used to tell and I was reading them and it reminded me of some other stories that my dad used to tell. He was a remarkable person. He grew up in southern Indiana right next to the Ohio River. I can picture him in my mind as a you know, Tom Sawyer or Huck Finn type of a character, rafting on the water and fishing and running barefoot in the woods. And yeah, it's too bad we don't have any photos of him at that age. I would have loved a good photo, but it is what it is. And so um, he would tell stories that would gross us out. I mean, here he is, this real He-Man with three prissy daughters <laughs> and um, he loved to hear us squeal and go ew oh dad I apologize for the lighting change here somehow or another I forgot to turn my light on and and so this part of the video is a little bit in the dark my apologies no escaping it. Anyway, um, he told this story about this penny. As boys do, he had it in his mouth and he accidentally swallowed it. Well, later on, he was walking in the woods and uh, got the call to nature and so he squatted right down there in the woods and relieved himself. <laughs> And um, that caused a good number of squeals. Ew, Dad, ew, what a boy thing to do. Well, he, he continues the story with this wry smile on his face. And he says, uh, he, says he turned around and there in, in the warm, steamy pile was something shiny. And so he examined it, he, he looked at, um, bent down to look at it more carefully, and there was his penny, but it wasn't the same. It was now bright and shiny and polished and brand new looking. And so, <laughs> being that it's still legal tender, I guess, he reached down and pulled it out of the pile, wiped it off on his pants, and put it in his pocket. And I'm telling you, we all just grossed out. I'm three prissy girls going, Oh, ew, Dad, how could you? Um, and he laughed and laughed. I love to hear him laugh. <laughs> and the thing is, I cannot look at money without imagining where it has been. Southern Indiana. 
he had this lovely accent that he never really got rid of here in California. Even married to a California girl, he, he still had a little twang. When he answered the phone, he would say, Yellow! <laughs> finished with this flower with this group of flowers and here it is my pink jubilee rose putting the little veins in them very lightly with a very tiny brush is the cap on top of the the flower it makes it look much more three-dimensional when you put those little veins in and it's kind of a broken line stroke and there it is all done thanks so much for watching and listening to my story do come again and check out some of my links below bye everyone see you next time